Back in 2004, Manchester City arrived at White Hart Lane to face Tottenham Hotspur. When these two clubs meet in cup competition, memories are always evoked of the 1981 FA Cup final replay. It saw Spurs triumph 3-2 with a famous goal from Ricardo Villa. Both sides had put in some good performances to get this far in the competition, but nothing would have prepared either club for what would be an unforgettable night in North London. Hello everyone, this is North London, where in the next hour and a half, Spurs take on Manchester City in an FA Cup fourth round replay. The winners are away to Manchester United in the fifth round. The tie has to be settled tonight, and that means there could be extra time or even penalties Let's check now on the two lineups, starting with Tottenham Hotspur for this FA Cup tie. Darren Anderton is ruled out with an Achilles tendon strain, but Maurizio Terrico, who's just recovered from a foot injury, doesn't make this starting 11, although he was hoping to play, he's not fit enough. Just one change for Spurs, sees the return of Dean Richards to the Spurs defence. Their back four was only finalised this afternoon. He takes over from Gary Doherty, who isn't 100% fit. Otherwise, Spurs are unchanged from the, sea, the, from the team rather that lost 2-1 at Fulham at the weekend. Two changes for Manchester City. One comes in goal, where new signing David James is cup tied, and he's replaced by Icelandic goalkeeper Arnie Arison, making his first team debut. The other change sees Robbie Fowler, who's been laid low with the effects of flu, return to this side. The player who drops out is the USA international, Claudio Reyna, who has a slight groin injury. Since winning the FA Cup in 1991, Tottenham have lost four FA Cup semi-finals. They started 2004 with a three-game winning sequence, but now they had their sights set on the famous knockout cup competition in England, the FA Cup. It's Manchester City in their traditional sky blue playing from left to right in this first half. Manchester City who lost 2-1 against Arsenal on Saturday, so playing both North London clubs in the space of a few days. And remember, they've never won an FA Cup tie here. Tarnat with a throw, touched on by Fowler. Elka gave it away. Brown. This should be a very open game of football. Two teams who like to attack, like to get forward. This is Christian Seeger, who has played in the FA Cup previously with Liverpool. Anthony Gardner, who plays in central defence alongside Dean Richards tonight. He's in terrific form at the moment. Did really well in the league match against Liverpool recently. Tottenham have won the throw here. Michael Brown is going to take it. Michael Brown, who reached the FA Cup semi-final with Sheffield United last season. Brown, King, might break here for Tottenham, Ledley King, and Ledley King scores in the opening two minutes, what a start for Tottenham. Well, it looked more like Robbie Keane the way he struck it than Ledley King, but a player who's been pressed forward into midfield duties scored a terrific goal here. Terrific finish by Ledley King. Did well to turn onto his left foot then and have the goal in his sights. And Arnie Arison, who's hardly touched the ball since the match began, now sees his first job to pick the ball out of the net. Barton gets it back to Dunn again. All the way back to Harrison, whose previous touches in this game, I think, have only included picking the ball out of his net.
King. Davis. Davis, who has been out recently, but now back in first team action. Shot by Robbie Keane. Well seen by Harrison in the uh, Manchester City goal. Harry Harrison, who could well be representing his country, Iceland, here at the end of the current season in a three nation tournament as England prepare to warm up for the Euro 2004 Championships in Portugal. Is Fowler. Isn't too far away from goal, Robbie Fowler, whose last FA Cup goal was in an FA Cup semi final against Wickham in his days with Liverpool. Casey Keller seemed to be very confident that ball was going wide. Done. Bosveld. Brown won it. Keane. Brown and Keane did well to combine here. It wasn't a great clearance from Bosveld, which ricocheted to Brown and then Keane. Saw his shot deflected. He was looking for a handball here, Robbie Keane. That's why he was appealing. You can see it just catches the very end of his hand. Of, uh, the hand of Disney. Robbie Keane has scored in his last four league games. Two have come from the penalty spot, but even still, Robbie Keane full of enthusiasm and confidence. Gardner. Come on. Ladley King. Tottenham just uh, putting some passes together here. It's forward towards Robbie Keane. It's 2 0, and Tottenham head towards round five of the FA Cup. They're two up now inside 20 minutes. And Kane has scored again. Great ball in, but it was really clever by Robbie Keane to stay on side. That was the problem here for Keane as he got on the end of Stephen Carr's through ball. But once he'd done that, very, very tidy finish indeed. Shook off the attentions of Distan. And as the goalkeeper went to ground, Keane knew exactly what he was doing. Kevin Keegan looks non plus, the Manchester City manager. It's Tottenham press again. Keane. King. Delma. Robbie Keane now for Tottenham. Almost came through here to Brown, who's won it back, and Brown wins the free kick. And a yellow card for Joey Barton, who really has been uh, chipping away, not only at the referee, but also one of two key Tottenham players. You can see he went stamping in, that really is a yellow card offence, and Joey Barton can have a few complaints about that. And Joey Barton actually made contact with his opponent there. That card colour could well have changed from yellow to red. So it's Seagat and uh, Robbie Keane, the protagonists at this dead ball situation for Tottenham. I think it's going to be a Christian Seagat effort, player on the right of your picture. That's the man. Is it Ziga? And it's 3 0. And Tottenham have absolutely been outstanding in this first half. Christian Ziga, whose career was threatened by a leg injury and must have wondered at some stage whether he'd ever play again, now scores in the FA Cup for Tottenham.
got the ball high above the defensive wall over the goalkeeper we wondered whether Spurs could find a third goal to kill off this tie they have done it's going to be a very long second half now for Manchester City for Kevin Keegan his team have been up against it for most of this game behind after just two minutes he's lost Nicholas and Nelka to injury and now he has to give the team talk of all team talks at half time with his team 3-0 down Richards misjudged that ball Seager puts it out Robbie Fowler hardly moved to get on the end of that ball Tarn out with a corner kick. Yeah, there by the Tottenham defence. A minute of stoppage time being added on. Man City recently let in four goals at Portsmouth. And they lost by four goals to two. in three when they played Manchester United at Old Trafford three more at Tottenham here in the League Cup when they lost by three goals to one and Tottenham threatening to remove Manchester City not only from the League Cup this year but also the FA Cup corner kick to Spurs and what a first half it has been for the men from White Hart Lane. Ahead in just two minutes, courtesy of Ledley King, it just got better and better as the first half progressed, to their Manchester City rallied. Robbie Keane made it 2-0 after 19 minutes. And then just to add insult to injury to Manchester City, Christian Seeger found a third. Joey Barton has had his, had his say to the uh, referee. He's been sent off, Joey Barton, for something he's said to the referee just after the half-time whistle. So a red card here for Joey Barton for something he said to Rob Stiles. And Manchester City will play the remainder of this game with ten men after Barton was sent off for a second yellow card for descent. It gets worse and worse for Manchester City. Bosfeld. Sean Mike Phillips has won a free kick here for Manchester City with that another hefty challenge by Anthony Gardner. It was Leslie King in fact who caught him. And Manchester City just find a goal. Hope. it's lining up a free kick here. So one German has scored with a free kick. Can another one score? This one's chipped in cleverly. It's a very good goal for Manchester City. Headed in by Dista. Clever free kick by Tana. He disguised his intent here. Chipped the ball in to Dista. And Dalma really went to sleep. Maybe Tottenham have just had a wake-up call. Just there uh, helping it back to Arison. Sinclair. Goal should pep up Manchester City. Bosfeld, lovely back heel, Macken. Casey Keller virtually sat on the ball and he was complaining about his defence too. Kevin Keegan has certainly uh, 
a little bit more animated now, and certainly his team are more animated in this FA Cup fourth round replay. Mackin could well have scored. Almost went through the goalkeeper's legs before Casey Kello had a real uh, look of disgust on his face because his defence had gone walkabout once again, managed to sit on the ball. Right, Phillips. And he's made a good run here, and it's opening up again for Manchester City before Carr disappeared. And he's picked up an injury. He disappeared into the tackle, and uh, Mike Phillips certainly felt it. Incredible, isn't it? Tottenham, 3-0 up, playing against 10 men, and suddenly they've gone to sleep. Delmar, great ball through to Robbie Keane. Keane still has it. And Poulier's there, and he's tripped by Distan. The referee indicates it's a free kick. It was a late lunge there by Sylvain Distan, which upended Robbie Keane. And Manchester City know that Spurs have the players who can be particularly effective in these positions. Sieger has already scored. And the goalkeeper now has to decide whether he covers that left-hand post as the keeper's looking at this free kick, or does Sieger then fire it into the goalkeeper's right? Will Sieger go same side as he scored? Michael Brown is also looking at the angle here. Is it going to be Sieger or Brown? It's Sieger again. Poyet. Well, goalkeeper had two saves to make, and well done, Arnie Harrison. It was a brilliant free kick, which I think hit the crossbar. And then Poirier tried to head it back into an unguarded net. That's a great save, he touched it onto the crossbar. Well done, goalkeeper. That is an outstanding piece of goalkeeping. He had to leap one way to touch it onto the crossbar, and he had to get from that position there back across the other side of the goal and stop Poirier's header st stealing over the line. Fantastic two. Fowler, Tarnat. Manchester City buzzing again here, great ball in. And he clear there by Gardner. I took a deflection, it's gone in! It's 3-2! Bosvelt has struck the ball, it took an almighty deflection. And City are right back in it. Bosvelt. And it's ricocheted off Anthony Gardner. And it's now 3-2. If that ball was going in before it struck Gardner. Carr oh, looking to get back into the sort of shape they showed in the first half when they were head and shoulders above Manchester City. Delmat. And oh, they all missed it. He's trying to flick it on with the back of his heel. Twelve minutes remain of this enthralling FA Cup tie. Looks like uh, Steve McManaman's going to be thrust into the action here. City have done well. They prevented Spurs finding another goal to kill off the tie, and it's very much in the balance in the last 11 minutes. There's no doubt City will press forward here. It's Wright Phillips, Wright Phillips has made it 3-3! Fantastic! It's one of the greatest FA Cup comebacks in the history of the competition. Those City fans cannot believe what they've just witnessed. City, three down at half-time.
a man down at half time. Their best striker off. Have uh, found a third goal, a hint of offside, you have to say, but Sean Wright Phillips has incredibly tucked the ball past Casey Keller, and City's dreadful first half showing is all forgotten now. Jackson. Brown. Mike Phillips. Still Mike Phillips going. And then those Maisie runs. Eventually comes to an end with uh, Garner trying to mop up. Jackson. Sun Jihai, Sibieski. Sibieski looking for an opening here for City. Tarnat. Macken, he's won it! He's won the tie here for Manchester City. That has to go down as one of the great FA Cup ties in the history of the competition. The impossible has happened. Tarnat's cross, headed in by John Macken. Macken, who should have won the first game at the City of Manchester Stadium. What a ball in here for Tarnat, and Macken's header crept inside the upright. Oh, this is just the stuff of dreams. Macken's header has found the target, and Kevin Keegan's side have come from oblivion to take their place in the fifth round of the FA Cup where they will play, you know who, another team from Manchester who happened to play in red. This is a stuff of fairy tales. That's all you can say about this cup tie. I've commentated on many a game, many a cup tie, but this has to be right up there with the most extraordinary games of football I've ever seen. Can Tottenham find a late, late reply? Surely it's far, far too late now. But Dalmat turns it on. Dista heads it clear. Sean Wright Phillips thumps the ball to safety. And there it is. A fantastic story. Macken with a header in stoppage time at the end of the 90th minute to win the game for Manchester City. Let's just try to sum up this incredible story. Arnie Arison with two outstanding saves. Spurs three up at half-time, and then the second half revival begins. The final score here from White Hart Lane is Tottenham Hotspur three, Manchester City four. So a nice high drama, but that was to prove as good as it got for the blue half of Manchester that season with City crashing out 4-2 to arch-rivals Manchester United in the next round.